welcome back to my channel. I am Homie Fern. You can find me over on Instagram at the Frolicking Fern. And today we have a new box, and this is from a beautiful subscriber of mine. Her little shop on Etsy is called Celtic Cauldron by Mary. I believe that is part of it as well, Celtic Cauldron. And she wanted to send me one of her boxes. She's really been taking this time of rest and being able to be at home to really actually take hold of her passion and start her own boxes. So so proud of her i'm so excited to see what she has this box is huge so i will leave the link in the description down below for her shop very excited to see what she has so let's get into it all right so she is very handmade and like i said she's just starting out so i'm very excited um, that I kind of got this, one of the first iterations for her box. Oh, this is beautiful. So as soon as I opened it, she has this beautiful little knot. It says Celtic prosperity and well-being knot. This knot is made with one line that has no beginning or end. It continues, it combines eternal abundance and well-being, which equals prosperity. That is beautiful. Love that little note. And how cool is that? That's amazing. I'm definitely, ooh, look, and it's getting smoke cleansed. I'm definitely going to be putting this in my grimoire as some like little, as a little piece that um, will go on my prosperity page. I love that. And she oh, wrote this sweet little knot. I wish you prosperity in all you do. And this looks like it is on handmade paper. That is really, really cool. So you can see that nice handmade paper like nice thick oh and it's beautiful i love that i've been wanting to make handmade paper so bad i just haven't found the time yet but i will be getting to that so i can put that in my boxes as well but this beautiful piece of velvet here and it looks like something might have like come out a little bit but so pretty look at this green piece of velvet oh. I'm definitely gonna be using this on my altar because this is like my favorite color green. Kind of like that ferny, olivey green. So very cool. So we have, I believe it's, I think Danu, or I think there's another pronunciation to it, but very cool devotion to her. And I believe she is the goddess of the earth. So y'all know I'm all about my earth magic i'm very excited to look more into her because i really haven't done much research into her so the goddess of okay so the pronunciation is here dana anna so i was completely off i'm sorry so the goddess of dana anna oh is that how you pronounce her name because that is just would never have guessed that but dana anna and the origin is and not from ireland mother earth goddess of fertility prosperity and comfort so love that that is very, very awesome. And I definitely want to look into her more because I do have Irish roots as well as um, a lot of Scottish roots. So I'm very, very interested in um, Celtic and like Celtic tradition. So I'm very excited about this box. That is very nice. Some good information there. Cool. So, oh, she has a little, and I'm not sure if these are seeds or what, but hopefully nothing broke open too bad. But we have areas of influence. So Pantheon, abode, animals, crystals, direction, element, incense. Wow, all kinds of amazing information there on Dana Anna. Very cool. I love that and I love putting, being able to put correspondences in my book of shadows as well, in my grimoire. So the Celtic moon month, September 2nd through September 30th is the vine moon. So the month of the vine offers opportunity to bring your plans to fruition before the winter begins. The autumn equinox occurs during the vine moon and this will help you to realign your energy to get ready for the dark half of the year. It marks the turning point in the year when days begin to get shorter. So it tells you what fo what to what kind of magic to focus on. Lots of good information. I really really appreciate that she put a lot of um, a lot of info in here because 
that is all really good things. Those are all really good things to uh, be able to have. Ooh, we have Celtic Animal of the Month of the Vine is this one. So the symbol of love and fidelity around the world because they're custom of mating for life. Oh, that is beautiful. The swan was sacred to the Druids and they, they saw it as representing the soul. In ancient Ireland, the bards would wear a special ceremonial cloak, cloak called a Tuigan. Tuigan, I believe that's how you pronounce it, which was made of songbird feathers and the cowl consisted of the skin and feathers of a swan. Beautiful. Wow, and then she talks about an ancient, an ancient Celtic story about the swan as full of meaning and helps start this month of the swan. That is beautiful. And then she also has a feather right here, which is super cool. Very, very nice. So you can read that story too, if you want. That is so pretty. I'll be definitely be coming back and reading that. So very cool, super cool. I love, I love all the info in this box so far trying to save all these little seeds or whatever whatever they are but healing healing properties of citrine so looks like we have a citrine page here very cool so that probably tells us some more of what's going to be in the box and then so i'm going to save all of this i'm going to put it right here it's going to be sad it falls to the bottom so we have, then we have the Wand of the Vine. Ooh, so here is that information. I'm not gonna read too much because I feel like I'm kind of getting giving away a little bit of what is going to be in the box. So let's see what items we have. So, ooh, wow. This box is like packed full of nice big, nice big goodies it looks like. Love that she's reusing packaging materials. So that's really cool. Let's see, okay, oh my goodness. Like this thing is huge and it's so heavy too. Wow, okay, let's see what it is. Oh my goodness. So yeah, definitely go check her out on Etsy. Like I said, she is just starting up her, her, um, her boxes. But it seems like she has a lot of amazing information to share and beautiful, beautiful energy. A very, very healing and um, an earthy energy. I can feel very, like, definitely can tell, like, her, definitely seems very um, Celtic and kind of druid, druidism. Ooh, look at this. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, it even smells good. Wow, look at this, y'all. I don't know if she did this herself, but it is on a piece of tile. It is the moon phases. This is gorgeous. And then you can see the dark moon right here and it looks like it actually has some glitter in it. Oh, it is so pretty. Oh my gosh, like look at that. That is so gorgeous and it's like very heavy too. It's on like a nice piece of tile. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love this. I am definitely gonna be putting this by my altar, maybe even trying to hang it because that is just too gorgeous. And I love just like the handmade feel of it, but it's still very, very nice and looks really, really pretty. So that is super amazing. Let's see what else we have in here. We have, ooh, we have a little pouch of, it looks like some beautiful Elder Futhark runes. Wow. Look at these. So that is very, very gorgeous. I love how she put them on here. So cute. That is such a good idea too. So, and I've actually really been, I got, I got back into my runes um, 
quite a bit this year and then I haven't been able to work with them again recently just because of how busy I've been but I am really really wanting to get back into runes so that is beautiful that she included those in there in this beautiful bag so wow there's so much intention in, in this box that is gorgeous so what do we have here so it looks like we have little packets and a paper on it so maybe i should so let's open this guy first oh oh so we have a beautiful candle beautiful green candle mm. that is beautiful and then these super herby and moist bath salts so these are gorgeous look at those bath salts in there really pretty like green color Ooh, let's read about them spiritual bath salts for abundance and prosperity so they have bay leaves cinnamon honey orange peel and then it with a green and gold candle that is so pretty so i wonder if it's the honey there's actually quite a bit of honey in there that's really kind of giving them a nice moist consistency that is really really cool so and then she gives you a little ritual to do with your bath salts and candle i love that so a nice ritual like ritual bath um instruction there Ooh, so we have a prosperity oil so it says dab to blend of cloves ginger and apples on yourself every day to watch your prosperity blossom Ooh, look at this yes Ooh, look at this prosperity oil and it's nice and thick. I bet you she uses um, like a coconut oil type base maybe, or maybe she just has a lot of gorgeous herbs in there. I'm sorry, my um, lighting has changed. I just got a bunch of natural light into my apothecary. Look at that. I wonder what the shelf life is on it. I'll have to contact her. Ooh. That smells amazing. <laughs> oh, I almost like want to taste it, but I'm not going to. But oh wow, yeah, cloves, ginger, and apples. That just smells so beautiful. All right, I was gonna try to counteract the natural light that is coming in, but I don't. I don't think it's going to work. But let's see what else is in this beautiful box. Oh my goodness, it is like so packed full of goodies. All right, so I have this next item here. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. We have a crystal swan. Oh, and I'm so happy she came in one piece because look how fragile her neck, her neck is. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this would be so pretty in the window where it will catch a bunch of light too. Oh, I absolutely love that. That is so pretty. Wow, let's see if, oh yeah, you see that? You see her in the light? Oh, you see all the glitteries? That is so pretty. I wonder if I could hang her in the window. That would just be gorgeous. Oh, wow, look at her rainbows coming off of her. You know what? I never get light coming into my windows, so I know that was that was meant to be. I love that. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, so we have a little prosperity candle. That is really cute. And on this beautiful paper, oh my goodness. I love this paper so much. I did just pick some of this up and I'm obsessed with it. How funny. So prosperity candle, so we got another beautiful candle. Oh, and it smells so good. Let's see, it doesn't say what is in it. But I'm sure it says right here. So prosperity candle, ginger, cinnamon, thyme, and peppermint. So ginger can help speed up magic and bring funds faster. Cinnamon can help make things more prosperous. Thyme can attract money to your home and draw abundance and wealth towards you. And then peppermint can help with prosperity and financial success. So love that she gave us those correspondences there and all handwritten too. That is pretty amazing. 
And then she gave us a little candle jar as well. Oh, this is so cute. I love glass jars like this. And then a little scroll. Look at this cute thing. Look how stinking cute this is. Oh, and it's all this cute little, she like braided this little knot. So let's read Prosperity Candle Jar. Oh, Prosperity Candle and Jar Charm. Ooh, so she actually gives us a little spell for making a prosperity jar. I love that. So it says it's the perfect after burning your candle. The vine wreath makes a perfect nest for your swung feathers. Oh my goodness, so cute. So this is actually to start putting um, to start putting money in and you, when you put pennies and different coins in there and then actually collecting it, um, letting those uh, your change and your coins collect and then that is a way of drawing in prosperity. So I love that and I've actually been wanting to do a uh, money money jar like that but i haven't yet so that is super beautiful that she has given me that message to start that seriously packed with goodies in here okay so we have this super oh my gosh look at this vine wand with a swan feather on it oh and a piece of citrine look how cute this is oh my goodness and i love the shape of it too Oh, that is so cute. I love that. Look at this super cute wand. That is just beautiful. I love how these items are handmade too. That is something that I definitely appreciate. So we have some incense here, cedar and musk, little incense cones. Ooh, those smell really good. They almost remind me of um, Nag Champa. I think that's how you pronounce it, but nice little incense cones to burn. Beautiful. So we have this super cute little box with a swan on top of it. I apologize again for the lighting. Like I've never had this problem, but I guess it's because I never do videos <laughs> at this time. So we're working with it. So, oh my gosh. Well, you can't even see it. Look at the feathers in this box. Look at that. Oh my goodness. There's a bunch of swan. I believe these are swan feathers. I'm not positive. Oh, oh. And she gave us, oh my goodness. With this super beautiful ring. Beautiful ring with a pentacle and the triple goddess. The triple goddess symbol on it, which is my favorite symbol. Oh, that is so pretty. It feels like it's about a size six to seven, considering it fits perfectly on my ring finger. So that is super, super pretty. Beautiful like stainless steel feeling ring. So that is super nice. I love that, I'm gonna put it on. This feels, feels really pretty. Love it. And then oh, we have a super pretty little, wreath here so this is a wreath she was talking about that we can put our little swan in our little swan nest that is absolutely gorgeous and i think we also put um this is what she wanted us to put our little money jar so look how beautiful that sits right in there i am definitely going to be putting this um probably in my kitchen on my like little breakfast breakfast bar area so that we can put change and different things in it all the time and that is center in our house love it so much and it looks like we have a bunch of oh there's actually some, there are actually some crystals here so we have some pyrites gorgeous little chunk of pyrites Ooh, so a very pretty chunk of pyrite here oh gosh i'm so sorry about my nails Beautiful chunk of pyrites. Wow, there are so many things in this box. So it actually gives us the properties of pyrite and about pyrite. So there is that if you're interested. Sorry again about the sun. 
my gosh, there's so many goodies in this box. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad that it's so sunny. Oh my gosh. Cute. So I wonder what deck this is from. So cute little hanging bookmark charm. And we have pentacles. So, oh, 10 of pentacles. Beautiful little tarot card there. I'm not sure what this is from or what deck this is from, but look at that. That is really cute. I've never seen that before. Let's read a little bit about it. It says, Ten of Pentacles, Predictive Tarot Meeting. Wealth, financial security, good family life, tradition, family treasures. So, super cool. So there is that little page on the Ten of Pentacles. I love that she actually included like an individual tarot card because, and then actually talked about it because that's really, that's actually a really good way to learn tarot is going one at a time. And then last, oh, I wonder if that's what this, all this stuff is coming off of. Let's read about this and figure this out. Okay, so this is actually cinnamon. So yeah, cinnamon is a really good herb for prosperity. And she talks a little bit about something that you can do with cinnamon. You actually blow the cinnamon from outside in, keeping in mind the prosperity is successful. Enter your home along with the cinnamon dust in the wind. Full, full of energy, full of the energy that you put into it. That is beautiful. So there is a little spell that she has for prosperity and the cinnamon powder. So that's what that is in the box is actually cinnamon powder. But it's just come out, come out because she had packaged it in this in this um, little baggie. But I will definitely let her know maybe that um, she can change the baggie that she put in the future. But this is actually still a really, really cute little baggie that she put in here. I am just blown away with all the goodies she has put in here. So many beautiful items. Yes, so I'm absolutely oh, in love with this cute swan like look at all those rainbows go ahead and check out the celtic cauldron over on etsy i really really love her handmade items and just such a beautiful a beautiful box um in the beginning of her journey so let me know what you thought down below i'm obsessed with this moon little altar altar plate and then her oil is just gorgeous Oh, like all the items in this were just so full of intention and such a loving and caring and nurturing energy. I'm absolutely in love and so much good information too. So plenty of info to put in your book of shadows, a ton of awesome handmade items. So let me know what you thought down below. If this is your first time here, I promise that I don't usually have a bunch of sunlight in my videos. So I'm so sorry about that. I usually film a bit earlier in the day, but it's been crazy, so I had to get some filming done. But thank you so much for joining me. I would love for you to subscribe and become part of our honey coven and just enjoy the, the journey we are on together. So I think that is everything. Please go check her out down below. I will leave the link in the description to the Celtic Cauldron. And yes, yeah, so I think that is everything. Blessed be. Bye.